former President Donald Trump carrying North Carolina by about 1.3 percent or less than 75,000 votes four years ago is closest win that cycle. It's just one reason why Democrats believe now is the time to flip North Carolina from red to blue. In the last two weeks, I have been on the ground in eight different counties, uh, the most recent being last night in Person County at the Virginia border, uh, doing postcards with uh, senior Democrats. Eva Lee serves as president of Wake County Senior Democrats, an all-important block both parties will be fighting hard to win over. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, in 2020, voter turnout was highest amongst those 65 to 74. The price of insulin being capped is a major uh, help to seniors. It's also a group that has historically voted for the GOP. Well, North Carolinians, they don't want a candidate like Donald Trump that will put Social Security and Medicare on the chopping block. Vice President Harris has vowed to protect and strengthen these lifeline of programs. Republicans have pushed back on these attacks, with a 2024 RNC platform stating a Trump Vance administration will, quote, fight for and protect Social Security and Medicare with no cuts, including no changes to the retirement age. Social Security has taken so many seniors from poverty, it's just unbelievable. Tom Rothrock, president of Mecklenburg County Senior Democrats, routinely speaks with voters, including in rural counties, an area the party has struggled to compete in. We have to continually go and knock on their door call them, talk to them, show them. In down ballot work is underway to connect with those communities. In 2022, Democrats left more than 40 legislative seats uncontested. This year, they recruited candidates for all but two races. And Steve Lauren, that was one of the points that current DNC uh, state chair Anderson Clayton pointed out when she took over the role, wanting to be more competitive in those rural areas. We'll see how that plays out in just a few months. Now, coming up at six o'clock, we'll highlight some of the other key issues, plus the big week for Republicans here in North Carolina. I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.